Hey everyone, just got finished a great jump rope session and then afterwards I went for a run to get a really good sweat in. And now I'm going to cool down and I'll record the uh, cool down movements that I do, the uh, mobility movements, the stretches. You might get some ideas for your own workouts after you finish them, how to cool down, how to loosen your body and how to relax. Alright, let's get going. First thing I did was I took off my jacket just to cool down a bit. I was dumping sweat and then I started shaking up my arms and then my legs. In a second I start bouncing up and down on the toes of my feet and this is just a really nice way. Just let your arms hang loose by the body. It's a nice way to loosen up your legs and your upper body. So I'm just shaking out my hands there, my legs. And I'm reaching for the sky and then I'm going down to touch my toes. Actually when I'm doing that I'm saying thanks in my mind. Thanks for another workout. So I usually kind of look for the sun and I'll try to stretch upwards towards the sky and then I kind of go down into like a bow position and I'm actually saying thanks for the workout. Thanks for being able to move and be mobile. And now you can see here I'm doing some deep squat movements. I really like doing this to open up my hips, loosen up my knees and I'm, as you can see I'm getting on my toes here and doing a kind of windshield wiper movement. Someone was just walking by there, so I was just having a little bit of a chat for a second. Now I'm stretching out my groins. Moving from side to side again, like a windshield wiper. Just a nice way to loosen up the legs, stretch out the groins. It's a really nice movement to go into after doing squats. And now I'm back on my toes and I'm just putting my arms behind my legs just to stretch out my lower back here a little bit and now I'm supporting my body just on my hands. Nice little stretch there. And always before and after running I'll stretch my ankles just like this. And I'm doing the same with my wrists because I jumped rope. And now I'm spinning my knees around in little circles one way and then the other way. Nice way to loosen up your knees. Keep your joints fluid, loose. And now I'm doing some kicking motions. I'm raising my legs straight out in front of my body and you'll see this movement from the side. This is a good movement for loosening your hips. So I'm doing this with my left leg now. This is also really good for balance. The older people get, balance becomes an issue. It often becomes an issue for many people and it can cause a lot of problems. So it's often really good to work on balance. And if you're jumping rope often, you're doing a, a lot of good things for your body in terms of balance, strengthening your bones. Some high knees there, another good way to loosen up your groin and your hips. So I'm swinging my leg out to the side and I bring it across my body. This is another good movement for your hips. It's also good for your quads. This is very similar except I'm not bringing my foot out in front of my body. I'm just bringing it straight out to the side of my body. Another good movement that really targets your hip joint. This is called the fire hydrant. It's good for the groin and also again the hip. The hip is a major joint. It's good to look after it. I often perform some of these movements just throughout the day if I feel like loosening up a little bit. Like a cat, I'm always doing some kind of stretch or mobility movement throughout the day. If I'm standing around or waiting, I might just do rotate my ankles a little bit, for example. I might swing my arms around, I might go down into a deep squat. I'm getting down onto the ground. I often spend a lot of time on the ground throughout the day. Just getting down onto the ground and getting up can be very difficult for a lot of people. When we're kids, it comes very natural to us. So I think it's a good thing to continuously practice getting down off, on, off the ground. So getting on the ground, getting off the ground, 
doing a little bit of movement while you're on the ground. It helps keep you supple and agile, I think, hopefully into a later age. Now this is a great movement for strengthening the area around your knee. Also really good for the quads. I'm simply straighten, straightening out my leg, one leg as you can see at a time. I'm pointing the toes up to the sky and I'm just holding the leg stationary for let's say 30 seconds, a minute, even more if you're able to. It's a fantastic exercise for keeping your knees in good health. See the trees are blowing around quite a bit in the background there. It's a very windy day. Great for cooling off now after all that exercise. And as you can see, I have my shoes off. I'm just doing this wearing socks. I often like to uh, walk either barefoot or maybe around in an old pair of socks just outside, outside the house. Often barefoot, often barefoot. I'll often wear sandals and I'll just kick them off. This is a great movement for strengthening your bum and your hamstrings and your legs in general. So as you can see, one foot remains flat on the ground, bent knee, and the other leg I'm just trying to raise up towards the sky. And I'm really pushing down into the ground using the heel of the foot that is on the ground. And as I raise my other leg, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks. It's a great move. And now I'm just holding the position stationary in an isometric type position at the top of the movement. This is really good for targeting your bum and your hamstring. And now the opposite leg. So if you try these, really focus on pushing the heel of the foot that's on the ground into the ground and really squeeze your bum while you lift your leg up to the sky. It's also a good movement just for your, for your pelvis even. After performing a few repetitions, try to hold your leg stationary as I am doing now. You can hold it like I am now or you can point it directly straight up into the sky and really focus on squeezing, as I said, your bum. This will work the hamstrings and the butt very nicely. The camera just blew down there, so I just had to reload it and get going again. And now here, this is a great movement for your groin. As you can see, I'm lifting my leg up to the sky, up and down, and I'm on the on the side of my body now. This is a fantastic groin stretch. If you do several repetitions of these and even hold it up in the air in an isometric position, you'll feel, you'll soon feel it in your groin. If you have recently started exercising, maybe running for example, or even jumping rope, you could be susceptible to uh, groin injuries. So I highly recommend doing some movements that strengthen your groin muscle. So as you can see right now, I was just holding it there in place. Great for working the groin. And I'm just doing these until I can really feel the groin being worked. And I would have performed it on the other leg as well. Now I'm doing some windmill type motions with my arms, forwards and now backwards. Good to loosen up the uh, shoulders, the rotator cuffs. A couple of shoulder shrugs here. Nice way to loosen up. Shaking up the arms, the wrists again there. Putting my arms behind my back and just interlocking my hands. This is a great stretch for your shoulders, for your back. And I'm doing a while. I just performed a, a calf raise there. Interlocking your hands like that if you can behind your back. It's good for posture. Stretch out my calves there for a second. One of my favorite moves here, just swinging my arms gently around my body. And as you can see, I'm pivoting my feet as I do it, raising myself up on just the toes of one foot. Really nice stretch to loosen up. You often see Tai Chi practitioners 
do that move or this one here almost resembling a golf swing or a hockey shot oh, right, my phone ringing in the background let's put that on silent for a second now I'm just doing a few movements for my neck I often do some exercises for my neck as you see here turning my head from side to side up and down around in circles I think it's really important to look after your neck the video is just about to come to an end I uh, will do some spine waves and then that's it I really hope you enjoyed this video a lot more to come thanks for watching